we should see 18.75 amps on each one of these wires. When we check these wires and we are seeing a reading significantly different than what the math would indicate, that tells us that we have a problem with this element. Um, there's a lot of other ways to test these elements. You can, you can take the wires off of them and you can measure the resistance of the elements, which is uh, an ohms reading. Um, you can also set your meter to continuity. And, and when a meter is set in continuity, it means if, there is, if the leads touch each other, then um, if, if these two leads were to touch each other, it will beep. I can simulate that right now. So right now I've got my meter set in continuity. And then if I touch these, you're gonna hear it beep. Okay, so if I were to, um, if I were to touch these two on these screws with the wires removed, you would also hear it beep. And I can simulate that for you right now too. Let's pull these wires off real fast. And again, we're being very careful because this unit is energized. Okay, so our meter is set to continuity. If I touch these two together, it beeps. So now, if I touch these two on these two screws, it beeps. This tells me my upper element is good. If you were to simulate that exact same exercise and it did not beep, that tells you your upper element has completely failed. And that would be the first element that I would recommend replacing. Uh, the same process works for the lower element. You remove the wires uh, to make sure there's no energy going to the unit, and then you would check its continuity. Just like that. Now we're gonna tuck these wires back under these screws And again, we're being very careful because there's power to the unit. We tuck these wires back under these screws and the unit is back into a heating condition. This unit or this element is drawing 240 volts. It's a 4,500 watt element. And when we check amperage around each one of these wires, 